Alright, what is up guys? This is Paul again for Replica Gun Reviews. Um, pardon me if I'm being a little low here with the volume. My girlfriend's sleeping inside and I didn't want to wake her up. Um, but today I have with me the Umarex Glock 19 Gen 3. This is non-blowback. Um, but before I get into this, I just wanted to shout out some of my new subscribers and uh, say thank you to one of them, uh, William Murray, for suggesting I do a Glock. Um, but let me just uh, read off the list here of some of my new subscribers. So first off, we have Tech Crate, Franco Elias, Gianni Lorenzo, Mason Haddix, William Murray again, and a channel that goes by the name of Air Dash Air Guns Included Reviews. Um, thank you all very much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate the views and your subscription. Um, and as always, I love talking to you guys. Um, you guys are awesome. Stay cool, guys. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start shouting out my new subscribers, I think, um, in my videos. Just to give you guys some credit because you deserve it. Um, you guys have been really cool, like I said. Um, and I always love talking to you guys. So definitely hit me up. Don't hesitate. Um, you're, you're not bothering me in any way. Just hit me up uh, with any questions or anything. Um... And also, I wanted to mention that I've been thinking about, I, w I wanted to do something like a giveaway for you guys here and then. So, um, if anybody has any suggestions as to what I should do, definitely comment below. Let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll think of something. But I want to do something cool for you guys to give back. You know, um, you guys took the time to subscribe to my channel, and I really appreciate that. So, I want to do something nice back for you guys. Uh, so... Either uh, give me a comment below or I'll come up with something. Um, and we can change it over time too. Um, but anyways guys, for the Glock uh, 19 Gen 3, I picked mine up on Amazon. It was $75. Bucks, uh, but currently, as of today, I checked. And the cheapest you can get it for is now $138 on Amazon. But on UmarexUSA.com, you can still get it for $74, $75. Bucks. So... I would definitely go pick it up if I was you. I already give this gun a two thumbs up. Um, I've used it a few times now and it's just totally awesome. Um, I know there's some people out there that don't like Glocks for the shape and for the fact that it doesn't have a safety, but um, at least with the Umarex uh, Glock, it, they did include a safety. So you have this little toggle safety right there um, in the trigger. So if you push it out, uh, there's actually a red stripe around it um, that shows that you're in fire mode So if you push it back down toward the left now you're in safe So in safe you could pull the trigger but not fully and when you push that out now you can pull the trigger fully So now you can fire so just keep in mind guys that this safety is really easy to accidentally push So just make sure you're always in safe It should be facing pushed in toward the left to be on safe and when you push it toward the right you're on fire um, but yeah, as for toggles and buttons on this gun, there's not many. You just have the, uh, the safety as I showed you, and then you have right here the mag release. So that just drops out the mag, uh, which I'll get into in a sec. But, um, I just wanted to show you this thing first. So it has a metal slide, and it has a polymer body, but this polymer is really, really durable. It's super thick. I feel like if I drop this gun over and over again, that it just wouldn't break. I would bet on it. Um, it also has these really cool sights, uh, the classic Glock sights with that white um, paint. Let me just try to line that up good for you. See? Um, and uh, on the side here, it says Glock. You have the Glock logo, the number 19, the word Austria. Let me see if I can focus better for you guys. Let me see if I can turn this light up if it helps. Oh, there you go. See Austria, and then um, underneath the grip, you have the other Glock logo. And on the other side, you have the Glock logo in white there. You also have it right there, small one. And then you have right here, it says officially licensed product of Glock. Uh, see if you can see that. Sorry, guys, if it's not focusing well right now, I don't know why. There we go. But, um, yeah, and then on the underside of it, you have under the trigger, you have the warning, and then you have your serial number, 
uh, caliber 4.5 millimeter, 0.177. Uh, so yeah, this shoots 0.177 steel BBs. Um, it has a 16 shot drop free stick mag. <clears throat> Even the, uh, pardon me guys, even the magazine is super durable. It feels nice and cold. It's metal. Um, and then here you have your spring that you just pull down and lock into that little groove. Uh, and then you can load your BBs right here through the hole, um, which I'll get into again later. Um, and then here, if you pull off this back cover of the grip like this, whoops. Um, this is where you put the 12 gram CO2 cartridge. So it takes just one 12 gram CO2 cartridge. This one is from EMG Arms. Um, and then inside the back of the grip, there's its own Allen key, which is awesome. That's always convenient when they include the Allen key. And that is to screw up the, the piercing screw, which is only accessible, by the way, if the magazine is out. Um, but yeah, that screws up and down that piercing knob so I'm gonna pull mine down so I can show you how to load CO2 in a sec I don't really have much bad to say about this gun it's super durable for the price it's totally worth it I think and thank you again William for suggesting I do a Glock because I didn't have one yet so I went and picked this up and now I'm definitely gonna go get the Glock 17 because I love blowback um, this is more powerful. This has a max muzzle velocity of 410 feet per second. Um, the Glock 17, the blowback version, is in the 300s. I forget what the exact FPS was, but uh, it's like 310 or 320, I think. So it's quite a difference. So um, you're basically trading power for authenticity with the blowback. Um, but anyways, this thing is cool regardless. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the Glock shape I've heard online and I know I've heard complaints that people don't like that on the real Glock there's no safety but again as I said um, you have the safety here and you know for me anyway I find I get why they don't like this boxy shape but I feel like that's what gives it its uniqueness so I, I kind of enjoy it. I'm a collector so I like, I like seeing the different styles and feeling them. Um, this one's awesome. This is very compact gun. Um, it's not too heavy. It's not too light. It actually weighs 26 points or 25.6 ounces. Um, that's 1.85 pounds. Um, it actually also has a total length of 7.25 inches. So that's not too big. Let me see if you can see compared to my hand. You know, um, I have kind of big hands but it's still very compact like I could get my whole finger almost around the grip cover and then there's also grooves here by the way on the front so it gives you a little texture to grip onto and then the grip cover has I forget what this type of grip is called this texture but um it has this texture here on both sides which is nice and then you got these finger indentations so that goes for the pinky on up and then you got your pointer finger wrap around the trigger so you can hold it really securely and it's super compact um so let me just get into uh some more specs about this um it's double action semi-automatic again it takes one 12 gram co2 cartridge um and it has uh, again a 16 shot drop free stick mag so um, I have no complaints about this thing, so I think I'm just going to show you how to load CO2 and the BBs now. So, to access the CO2, again, the screw right there, you have to have the mag out because it covers it. So, just pop out the mag. The mag release is right there. Um, you just press that and it just falls out. Um, now, you just take off this back cover to load CO2. You pull down the hidden Allen key. And I think I pulled mine down enough, but you just put it in and you pull the screw down enough to get it in the capsule. Um, the capsule for the Glock 19 Gen 3 goes head first, so like that. Um, as always guys, I know I emphasize this in every video, but I would suggest getting yourself some Pelgun oil. Um, this will keep the seal around the co2 capsule inside the gun lubricated so it doesn't crack or dry out um and you can avoid co2 leaks so you just open that up and you take your co2 cartridge 
and you just simply apply one drop just like that only one is necessary just to cover the capsule uh, cover so then you just pop it in oh sorry guys I just hit my phone here um, I would suggest holding the capsule with your finger because if you tip it it will fall out but once you're doing that you just put your allen key in and start tightening it up now as usual I like to tighten it until I feel like it's gonna pierce uh, so that I could get a better grip on it for the final turn so once you have that just finish it off um, I'm pretty sure you guys heard that. Uh, I wanted to mention about this gun. Uh, I noticed with most of my Umarex guns, there's little to no gas leak at all. Um, so this is one of the only ones that I have that actually releases a little gas, as even if you get a really good grip on it, tightening it. Um, but not too much. That time I might have got tightened it a little too slow, so I, I think I lost more than normal. But um, it's good to go anyway. You still get a decent amount of shots out of this. I'd say about three mags before you got to change the CO2 capsule after the amount that I just lost. But um, anyways, guys, uh, that was just for demonstration purposes anyway. So once you're done with that, um, you take your back of the grip cover. This little outcropping, this plastic outcropping goes head first like that. And then the bottom just snaps in. And then... Uh, once you are done with that, just make sure you're on safety always. Uh, by the way, guys, this safety here, since it's on the trigger, it's not. It's a toggle, but there's no click or anything. So you can very easily, just by pressing on it, accidentally take it off safety. So just always keep an eye on that. It should be point, pushed in to the left to be unsafe um, so that you can't fire. Um, so once you get your CO2 in, um, you just take your magazine now. And once again, there is a spring right here, and you just pull that down and insert it into the indentation there. Um, you get yourself some steel BBs. I have some from Swiss Arms here. Um, so I'm going to take 16 of those, or try to get 16. By the way, guys, I'll put links in the description to everything I use here, like uh, the BBs, the CO2, the Pelgun oil, and everywhere that you can find the gun um, for the cheapest price and not. I'll put it in there anyway. But once you have the BBs in your hand, you just take the magazine upside down like that, and then you just start loading them into that hole. So I'm just going to load one, two, three. One eternity later. 14, 15, 16, guys. So once you have your 16th in, you should be able to see it right there through the hole. So once that's there, uh, just push this tab forward to lock them all into place. Uh, and then let me just put these BBs away real quick so I don't make a mess. I find BBs all over the place all the time. <laughs> I have a really bad habit of spilling these things. Um, but anyways, once you have those away, your magazine's loaded. Again, make sure you're on safe. Uh, and then you just insert the magazine, just like that, and you're good to go. Um, you don't have to cock this because there's no blowback or anything. So all you have to do is take it off safety, and then you're good to go. See, now it's off safety. Um, I forgot if I mentioned it, but when it's off safety, when it's in ready to fire, there's actually a little red stripe around this this uh, toggle, so you'll be able to tell. Um, but now you're on safe, um, and that's it, guys. Uh, that it's as simple as that. Um, again, this gun is really cool. I'm really happy I got it, um, and for the price, it's really awesome. Um, I believe the Glock 17 Gen 3, which is blowback, isn't even that much more. I believe it's about a hundred. Um, I'm gonna check that up. I'll put it in the video. I'll edit it in um, if I'm wrong. But um, anyways, guys, I would have to give this one a two thumbs up for sure. Um, it's just a really awesome gun. It's really solid. Um, I just can't find a reason not to to buy this. You know, I've had no setbacks, no setbacks with this, no issues, no gas leaks. Um, it's super sturdy, like I said. I just really think you'll be happy if you picked it up, if or if you're contemplating on picking it up, and that's why you're watching this. Um, I would I would say you, you you're justified in being confident in picking it up. Uh, definitely go get it um, if you're a collector like I am. It's just a good piece to have, you know, and it's really fun um, to use. 
and it's a Glock, you know, I, I don't have any issues with a Glock, uh, so I personally like it anyway, I'm more of a 1911 person, but, uh, I can't complain about this, um, I just recently got a Beretta, the Beretta APX by Umarex, uh, I'll do a review on that definitely soon, um, that one is so, it's such a weird CO2 gun, I'll explain in the review more in detail, but, um, I'm not going to get into it now, but um, anyways guys, I set up some penetration testing earlier, and I did some accuracy testing, and then I did, as always, the side profile of me shooting this, just so you could see what, and maybe hear what it sounds like being shot, or at least get an idea. Um, before I go, um, again, if anybody has any suggestions or anything that you would like to see or anything you'd like to hear in the future, definitely comment below, let me know, and as usual, I always love hearing from you guys, but yeah, that's it guys, I'll let you guys watch the penetration testing and some accuracy testing, and then I'll see you at the end of this video, alright guys, peace. Alright guys, so since there's no bowback action, uh, I'm going to try to get as close as possible to the camera without uh, disaligning myself from the target, so I think this is as close as I could get to the camera without being off target, so I'm just going to unload, uh, I have I think 15 actually in here, not 16, so I'm, gonna, I'm about 10 feet away from my target trap, so uh, here we go with the first shot, let me just make sure I can fire. Alright, safety off, and here we go guys, let me just back up a little, maybe that's a little better right there, one, Alright guys, that was it. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Alright, I'll see you in the next clip. Alright guys, so let me back up 10 feet and see what I could do with the Glock 19. Um, I was pretty good the first couple times, so let's see. Right. Here we go, 10 feet away now. Let me just take the safety off. Alright, let's get sighted in here. That was all 15 shots, and not so bad. Um, again, as always, you guys be the judge. Let me know in the comments what you think, but I don't think that one was too bad, actually. Um, it's better than most of my uh, accuracy tests. So anyways, guys, let me move on to some penetration testing, and I'll see you there. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Um, I got another 16 shots loaded up, and as you can see, I decided to line up some milk cartons here. So I have one, two milk cartons lined up, um, and I'm just going to see how many milk cartons I could get a BB through. Um, I don't know if it'll go through the first one only. I have the feeling it might get to the second one, but I'm not too sure. Um, but we'll see. I've never done this. Oh, sorry about that. That's lady barking in the background. Lady, be a good girl. All right, so let me back up 10 feet and see what happens here. All right, guys, so here we go with the first shot through two milk cartons. All right, that definitely went in for sure. Um, the first one. And it stayed in the first one. Um, as you can see, it dented the back pretty bad. Um, but it didn't come out. I had the feeling it wouldn't come out. That's why I only started with two. Um, and then there's a dent in the third, in the second carton, the third layer though. Um, so let me just line these up again and unload a few more. And see if I get the same results. 
you just get those better for you in the camera, more straight. There we go. I think lady might start barking again if someone's in the hallway. Alright guys. So here we go. With shot number two. Lady, be good. Lady. Oh, there's another dog in the hallway, guys. Hold on. It's a wrap. She's gonna go off. Alright, maybe not. Let me just try. Nuts. Alright, so one went in. I mean, not one went in. One didn't go in. The rest did. So I think there's about half the magazine left. So let me just finish it off. Um, I don't think any made it to the second one. Oh, one did. And one made it into the second container. But that was it so far. Let me finish off this magazine. Again, pardon me for a lady, she's just growling consistently in the background. But um, as you can see, most of them stayed right in the first container. Um, so far only one made it through to the second container. Um, and a few, one, two, three, four, maybe five, um, made it out of the first container and then just fell between them. So yeah, that's it guys. So there's the entrance holes and then there's the bigger exit holes. Um, I should have filled these with water. That would look cool. But um, anyways, guys, that's it for the milk containers. Um, I would do more, but I don't think they'll definitely. They're definitely not gonna go. Maybe if I go closer, they'll go through more, or maybe the second one. But um, I was about 10 feet away just now, and that's as much damage as it did from there. Um, so let me just clean this up, and I'll move on to the next thing. Okay, everybody, so I am back. Let me just get the camera to stop shaking. Sorry. Um, there we go. So, anyways, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I have the big can and this little can again. Um, this bigger can is bigger, but it's a little thinner than this one. So, I have the feeling at 410 feet per second, we're going to get most of them into this can. Um, I'm not really sure if they'll ricochet or... Uh, go into this one, but we'll see. Um, so let me just get it in a good spot. I'll try to hit it around here where it's fresh. But uh, let me back up 10 feet and see what happens. Alright, I'm going to hit the little cam first and just see if it penetrates at all. So here we go. Oh, yes, it did. So let me try the big cam. Wow, actually it was the opposite this time, so it ricocheted off the bigger one and went into the little one. mess to clean up. I'm sure you could hear all those BBs. Um, but as you can see, it looked kind of even actually. Um, some were penetrating both cans and some weren't. So um, I'm not sure why that is. I can't remember the FPS of the last gun that I tested on these cans, but I'm pretty sure it was 10 feet per second lower. Um, I'll post it in the video, but a good amount of them did get caught in the can. So there's a decent, there's about half the magazine, and then about half came back, so that was pretty interesting, actually. Um, as you can see, it did tear up the front of the can. Nothing made it fully through the can. Um, this was from the last gun I tested. Um, I just tore this little spot up here. But um, So yeah, guys, that's it for the cans, as you can see. Um, so again, it was about 50-50. As for the sick thickness of the can, it didn't seem to matter. So, alright guys, I'm going to move on to the next thing. And uh, let me just clean this mess up. 
Alright guys, so these are the two tin cans. Um, these are the shots that went in. Um, and then there's some. Let me see if I can get to it. That's not from it. Um, that just basically just dented the hell out of it like there. You can see a couple. Um, but um, a lot of them went in for sure. I was actually surprised. I thought most of them would go into the bigger one because it's thinner metal. But uh, it was pretty even. They went in both and then bounced off of both. So... Yeah, that's it, guys. Um, so that's the 18 cans. Okay, guys, so I know you're probably wondering what you're looking at. So what I have here is some two styrofoam blocks taped together. Uh, they're, they go right down the middle. Um, and this is from one of my last uh, penetration experiments. And what I did was I put this uh, ceramic... A uh, little milk, uh, I don't know what you call it, milk jar uh, behind it. And I want to see if I could get something through this and hit the ceramic. Uh, if nothing goes through fully the styrofoam, then I'm just going to shoot the ceramic. But uh, let's maybe back up 10 feet. I got a full, full mag loaded again. Um, let me just put on my gloves here just for a little safety. And then I'm going to back up and I'm going to shoot dead center right here. And we'll see what happens. See if I can get that jar. Alright guys, I'm going to back up. And then here we go with the first shot. Oh, I did hit the jar. Uh, let me just reline that. Look at that, I chipped the corner off. Let me just reline it. Actually, maybe, let me put it this way. So I have more of a surface area to shoot at. They all definitely went through this. I actually didn't know if they would or not. Oh, I think I have actually a shot left. Hold on, one, one sec, guys. Alright, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Um, but as you can see, we totally demolished this. Uh, so there's nothing left of that. Um, and everything totally went through. These are the exit holes, and uh, these are the entrance holes. And then uh, here's a couple more, I guess, that came up for some reason. And then there's some more damage to the bottom. This was totally clean when I started using it, so I don't know why there's holes on the bottom and the top. I was shooting it this way or this way. Um, yeah, it was, I don't understand that. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But um, anyways, guys, yeah, that's it for the jar. So um, this thing is totally hit. Uh, so yeah, the... Glock 19 Gen 3 has some pretty good power behind it. I'd say this is definitely a steal. Alright guys, so I'm back. Um, I have the LG Stylo here again since the GS5 is pretty hit. Um, but what I did was I decided to turn it around see if I could get anything at 410 feet per second to go right through the back and through the screen. Um, I've always shot phones from the screen to the back so I'm just gonna flip it this time and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna back up about 10 feet and unload one or two shots just to make sure they don't ricochet all over the place and we'll see what happens. Alright. Put on my glove. Let me just get a comfortable position. Alright guys so here we go with the first shot. Oh, looks like that one certainly went through the phone and hit the pillow and just bounced off. Um, so it definitely went through. So let me just unload some more. So that was all 16 shots. One came back my way. Um, 
Damn, they all went through except for the ones that hit the outer edge of the chassis. Um, but as you can see, it pushed the screen out um, pretty significantly. Um, so this phone is pretty badly damaged. Um, but I could probably still get some use out of this. So anyways, guys, let me just clean up this mess and I'll show you a little bit better in the aftermath. Alright guys, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of a better picture of the LG Stylo. Um, so this is it. Uh, remember we shot through the back here and this is the screen now. Um, I don't want to peel it apart because it's going to get pieces all over the floor. Um, but as you can see it definitely blew out the screen. Uh, I'm going to keep going at this. I think next time I'm going to go the opposite direction now and see what happens. Um, Probably just going to mess it up just like the GS5. But um, I also wanted to try, I don't know why, I never hit this area it seems. Uh, I want to try hitting the camera, see how much damage or see how, how durable the camera is. Um, well, we'll see uh, guys. So yeah, this is the LG Stylo Aftermath. Um, so uh, I'll see you in the next one. Alright guys, so that was the Umarex Glock 19 Gen 3. Um, definitely let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I love this thing. I did much better with it the first day I had it doing some accuracy testing um, than I did this time, but I still think it's really awesome. It has some good power behind it. It's really sturdy, like I said, uh, and I just couldn't find a reason to pass it up. So again, thank you, William, for uh, suggesting I get this thing. It's really awesome. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, that's it for the Glock. Um, I just wanted to say that I just got this a few days ago. This is the uh, Beretta APX. Um, I'll do the review on this soon. Um, it works just fine, uh, but I definitely have a lot to say about this one. Uh, but yeah, this is still a really cool gun. Um, I'll put links to everything in the description. Um, and then I'll do more detailed review on that soon. But uh, yeah, guys, so that's the Glock again. Um, and this is Paul for Replica Gun Reviews. And I'll see you in the next review. Peace.